my name is Zena, and I'm Aging Ethically. And welcome to my humble apartment kitchen where it is Halloween year round. I miss my friends so much. I miss going to the movies. I miss going to the movies with my friends. We love going to the Alamo Draft House. Really awesome theater. They have a lot of themed movie nights. They have a full bar. They have a little restaurant. They serve you while you're watching the movie. They have a recipe for buffalo cauliflower wings that I just adore and I miss so, so much. My friends managed to find the recipe for these cauliflower wings and I'm going to make it for you today. It's not gonna be the same as sitting in the theater with my friends, but it's gonna give you that little taste of nostalgia that I'm craving so, so much. This is what you're gonna need to get started. Two pounds of cauliflower florets, frozen and thawed. We're gonna need some celery, some Pam style vegetable cooking oil spray. We have soy milk. It's gonna be a little kosher salt back there. Black pepper, super hot, spicy, red hot Frank's original hot sauce, buffalo sauce caliente. We have cayenne pepper. We have all purpose flour back there. Bread crumbs, panko style, deliciosity. And then of course, a little bit of olive oil and your necessary bowls and pans. So let's get into it. Two pounds of frozen and thawed cauliflower, one cup of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of kosher salt, one teaspoon of ground black pepper, quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Mix all the ingredients thoroughly in a separate bowl, one cup of soy milk. And then in another separate bowl, three cups of panko breadcrumbs. Spritz some parchment paper with cooking spray and you're ready to start breading. Dunk that cauliflower right into the seasoned flour mixture. Then you're going to place it into the soy milk. Let it sit in that soy milk for about 30 seconds. Then we're going to go right into the panko breadcrumbs. Yum! Place on the parchment paper and repeat. You're going to lightly drizzle all of these yummy cauliflower bits with some olive oil. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees. While your oven is preheating, take this time to cut up some lovely little accompaniments for your buffalo wings. I'm choosing celery. Now that the oven is preheated, we are ready to start baking. Go ahead and set your oven timer. The recipe recommends 30 minutes, but I'm gonna start off with 20 minutes and see how crispy these cauliflower bites become. We can always add more time later if we need to. And now we wait. I suggest finding a friend and doing a little soft shoe two-step. Twenty minutes later and I think I can bake these for just a little bit longer. I want them to be nice and crispy. Ten minutes more should do the trick. I want these guys to be really crispy and golden brown. You can even turn the broiler on for a couple minutes for that really crispy effect. Pour some hot sauce in a bowl and get ready to dunk your tasty, tasty morsels. Voila and bon appétit. My buffalo cauliflower wings have cooled off. I have some celery here, I have a little bit of cucumber. You might wanna grab yourself some vegan ranch or you know whatever you like that you think may complement a very, very spicy, spicy dish. Mmm. 
Ooh. Ooh. Spicy. <laughs> Ooh. One little tip, you guys. The panko breadcrumbs soak up the hot sauce really fast, so you want to serve them quickly so they're nice and crunchy. I am so happy right now. Thank you guys for joining me, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> You guys, my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter are all aging underscore ethically. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thank you so much. Bye.